Wave 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Tanner Canoost with 31 Triple Doppler. I might wait a few minutes before I wade into <laughs> another social you. media app. <laughs> it's like, I don't think I need one, but we'll see. You've got enough, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of how I feel, but too. I, I, have, I, I might need it to keep up with the kids, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> well, they'll have a new app next week, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. So. We've got a lot of storms out there. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, been that way recently, every single yeah. day, just over and over again. Getting into that summer swing of things. Uh, thankfully, no severe storms out there this afternoon. Hopefully, it stays that way, but that doesn't mean they aren't on the strong side. So let's get right to 31 Triple Doppler. Show you what's going on. Uh, it's been a busy past couple of hours for folks west of I-65. Those of you farther east, including in Huntsville, not so much just yet, but that could change as we get closer to dinner time. So right now, you see plenty of rain and thunderstorms near and west of I-65. I do want to zoom in on this storm in eastern parts of Lawrence County because we do have quite a bit of lightning associated with this along with some heavy rain just to the east of Moulton approaching western Morgan County as well. We have seen an uptick in the lightning here in east to southeast parts of Lawrence County recently, so that could be a sign that this is strengthening to some extent and becoming more organized. Again, it is not currently severe worn, but it is pushing eastward uh, at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. So as we loop this here, you'll see that motion to the east. Falkville over to Decatur, you are next to get some heavy rainfall, some lightning strikes heading your way, and there could be some gusty winds and small hail associated with that storm as well. Meanwhile, in Huntsville, it has been dry so far today. Certainly muggy, though. Dew point at 70 puts our heat index at 97. Current temperatures at 91. Right now, looking good at Toyota Field for the Trash Panda game. But again, we'll be watching those storms to our west as they meander our direction over the next couple of hours. Feels like 98 in Athens. And uh, meanwhile, the Shoals, that's had some rain-cooled air. Current temperature of 77. Heat index at 78. So you're avoiding that uh, steep summer heat in the Shoals compared to the rest of us. For Huntsville, good chance at passing showers and storms, especially over the next few hours. We should trend drier as we move through the evening. The temperatures will be falling as well, thanks to those passing showers and storms around the region. 72 our forecast low with uh, isolated showers possible overnight tonight, but those rain chances will be dwindling shortly after sunset. We're back at it though with scattered storm chances during the day on Friday, especially during the afternoon and early evening. Back to 91 for our forecast high. Here's what it looks like on future radar for your Friday, a primarily dry morning and then right on cue as we head into the afternoon. Scattered storms will be popping up across the region, gradually moving from the west to the east, just like they have so far today, and we'll see those then dwindle out for the most part once we get past sunset on Friday. The showers and storms should become more widespread as we head toward the weekend. We're going to have a little bit more shear in place, which gives us a little bit more energy and a little bit more uh, opportunity for these storms to become more organized. So with that in mind, there is a chance for some severe weather on both Saturday and Sunday as this cold front very slowly meanders our direction. That's going to give us a little more a little more oomph in the atmosphere to get these storms uh, rocking and rolling. So hail and damaging wind gusts will be possible mainly during the afternoons and evenings of both Saturday and Sunday scattered in nature, so not raining that entire time, but something you'll certainly want to watch out for if you do have any outdoor plans this upcoming weekend. Between now and the weekend, rain totals will likely be highest in the western part of our area where one to three inches of rain will be possible. A little bit lighter rain totals expected farther to the east in Jackson County. You might be looking at less than an inch over the next several days. It is around the shoals that we are in much, the most need for rain, moderate drought in place for areas around the Shoals over to Limestone County. So rain is welcome in those locations. Hopefully just not too much of it at one time. Looking at our 10 day forecast early next week, it uh, looks like a dry break is coming our way, especially next Tuesday into next Wednesday. A little bit of a dip in the humidity during that time as well. It, it's not going to be substantial, but it will be <laughs> Uh, enough to drop our lows at least one of those nights into the 60s. So, wow. you know, bakers can't be choosers uh, this time. Of the dip year. in humidity in July. Yeah, yeah we'll yeah. take any. Rare. Anything. 